is happening everybody my name's seven and welcome to a mass effect andromeda guide now today what we're going to be looking at is the best weapons within the game we're going to be looking at the 12 assault rifles that we can currently purchase build and design and use within mass effect andromeda now if you enjoyed this video please smash a like and if you're brand new to the channel please subscribe there is tons of gaming content on this channel of all sorts and all sizes now let's get straight into the first weapon now the first weapon is what is called a Cyclone. Now the Cyclone is uh, a type of MWS assault rifle. It has a very high rate of fire and it's also pretty low in damage but it has a very high accuracy rate. So with this close range you'll be able to do loads and loads of damage. With a clip size of 50 you will be destroying and also you have two argumentation slots as well which also comes in handy. Now the blueprint cost is only 100 and you'll also be able to use just uh, things like Omni Gel, uh, Canisters, Berylilium, Fluorite and Varium to make this actual weapon. So it is a really really cool weapon. I would say if you're somebody who wants to fight up close and quarters I would choose this weapon as being one of the better up close high fire rate assault rifles now moving on to the second weapon we have here today and this is the m37 falcon now as you can clearly see on the stats the damage is insane with the very low fire rate but obviously a very high accuracy as well with a very small clip size but because of that damage you won't need to worry about how small the clip size is obviously it's going to be a pain once you've used all your ammo to reload in the sense compared to uh, a normal assault rifle but this semi-automatic assault rifle is absolutely awesome and of course it's an MW US grenade launcher type of weapon which basically means you can fire a ballistic uh, grenade into your opponents the ballistic cost uh, I mean the blueprint cost sorry for this weapon is 125 it takes omni gel canisters copper nickel and element zero to create this weapon it's worth purchasing if say for example in other shoot ups you like guns such as uh, the foul you know something at slower rate in fire but pre precise and high damage I've definitely advised giving this to somebody who who has an interest in that style of play. Now the M8 Avenger is a low damage, high accuracy and high fire rate assault rifle. Its firing rate is automatic and its ballistic type is just standard. So this is obviously just an MWS assault rifle. You build and make this with uh, Omni Shell Canisters, Iron, Cadmium and Element Zero. Now this is a cool weapon for the basic player. I would say this is a pretty much a default weapon. With this high accuracy you're going to be able to obviously put a lot of rounds into your opponent do some damage over the duration but obviously you're going to need to put a lot into them you have a clip size of 30 so i would say this is probably a close to mid-range weapon uh, this will actually help you destroy quite a few opponents but you might have to re like you know say for example reload you might have to reload it quite a few times before you take out some of the larger enemies uh, because of the low damage rate so i would say this is the default weapon if you don't want to go for anything too advanced you just want to jump straight into the, the battlefield with something basic then go with the M8 Avenger. Now, a little bit up from the M8 Avenger, this is the M96 Matok. Now, this has got an increased damage, but a reduced fire rate in comparison to the M8 Avenger. So this is an MS, uh, MWS rifle, and it's also semi-automatic, so its ballistic type is just standard. Once again, it's very similar to the M8 and it is just an omni gel canister iron fluorite and uh, element zero that would create this weapon it has a low clip size so this isn't particularly my favorite weapon it's going to burst out quite a few rounds with a decent fire rate and it will do some decent damage to your opponent but i would advise probably staying away from this default weapon as much as possible it isn't particularly one of my favorites uh, there are a lot better weapons out there in comparison to this the style of it however i do like the look of it it reminds me of like almost like a pulse cannon i very very much like this style so let's move on to the next one now the n7 valkyrie this is actually a beast now this is a two shot burst weapon so you get eight entire shots straight off because you have a clip size of 18 it's standard projectile so it will just do standard damage and its blueprint cost is 150 you better make this with omni gel canister iron lithium and element zero this is just an mws rifle and like i say it's a two shot burst it has a very high accuracy this is the highest one that we've seen so far in accuracy so it's pinpoint it's going to be great it has four argumentation slots which is great as well you've got a very good fire rate and a high damage for a weapon with such a high fire rate and accuracy so i would say this is way more than just the default weapon if you want to get your hands on something a little bit more advanced a little bit more powerful and definitely a lot more accurate i would definitely recommend the n7 valkyrie for you to be using in play 
So let's move on to the next one. Now moving on to the sixth weapon, this is the PAW. Now the accuracy is 100% wherever you are going to be shooting this because it is a continuous beam which basically makes it a remnant assault rifle. This particle beam will hit its opponent 100% as long as you are obviously pointing at the opponent. Now the damage isn't extremely high but the fire rate is rapid which means it's going to be supplying a lot of damage in a short space of time. Its clip size is 30 so it's average and you've also got argumentation slots as well of four the weight's a little bit increased compared to some other ones but it's a decent weapon and with blueprint cost of about 125 it isn't that bad now obviously the unique property is this it's a heat based reload system so once it overheats reload etc and it will continue to be useful within the game now you'll need remnant polymer graphite nickel and vadium to basically build this weapon like i say before it's a continuous beam so this is a very cool weapon obviously it's alien in comparison to something like the n7 assault rifle um, but this is definitely a weapon to have a play around with if lasers and continuous beams are your style of weapon let's move on to the seventh weapon now the revenant is also a beam rifle it's an mws beam rifle which makes it a semi-automatic now i very very much like this weapon i'm a big fan of semi-automatic assault rifles now the accuracy is obviously a little bit lower than uh, the, the the weapon that we just previously looked at but the increased fire rate obviously compensates for the lower damage it has a reduced amount of argumentation slots which is just three and it has a very high weight as well so particularly in the sense of uh, the weight it's a pain argumentation losing one slot that's a pain too but also you have a max clip size of 60. having this clip size of 60 basically means you don't have to re reload as much which means you've got a longer period of time to cause damage to your opponent which is something i like i do like very much having a large clip size with this you will have to spend 150 for the blueprint cost and of course you'll also need omni uh, gel canisters copper cadmium and element zero to design this weapon the revenant is very very good now the sandstorm this is by far one of my favorite weapons it has a pretty high weight of 35 it has a decent clip size and its unique properties is that it's scoped so with this scope you better cause a lot of damage now obviously you have a reduced fire rate and have very very high accuracy and also a very decent damage this will cause a lot of damage to your opponent now for this you'll need a blueprint cost of 125 and you also have materials uh, to build this which you'll need as omni gel canisters beryllium lithium and vadium now with all of this you're going to build this beast of a weapon the sandstorm in my opinion is so far one of my favorites within the game it does a lot of damage high accuracy it's obviously got a reduced fire rate but it's also got a reduced clip size to match that lower fire rate you're going to be destroying opponents with this if that's your style of play a little bit slower a little bit more high accuracy reasonable damage this is what you want to be using we all know a little bit about the ket which is obviously one of the enemies that you fight against within the game and you're introduced to them pretty early on now this is the Ket Gatling gun, it's a, well, it's, a, it's a style of Ket Gatling gun and it's called Sound. Now it has a decent accuracy for a very high, high rate of uh, fire weapon. It has a low damage but obviously the fire rate is maxed out which is the most that we've seen the fire rate be maxed out so far on this. Now this is a charged automatic plasma weapon. The only downfall in my personal opinion is there was a bit of a charge up before firing the weapon which kind of creates a stuck like a, a stall before you can actually fire against your opponents obviously you have a very high weight but for that high weight you also get four argumentation slots and you also get a clip size of 120 which is also the highest that we've seen so far hence why the weight is a lot higher now this in my opinion is one of the better charge style guns you know something that is going to do a lot of plasma damage it's something to mess around with but if it's not your style play around with it see how you do but if you don't like it you can always move on to some of the other assault rifles now this blueprint cost is 150 and you'll need ket alloy scale fibers eroctic fluid sack and you'd also need a vadium as well now this is a very very cool weapon but like i say it might just not suit your play style and that's fine let's move on to the next one 
Now we're moving on to the Sweeper. Now the Sweeper is a remnant assault rifle and it's a three shot burst firing type with it a ballistic particle burst, which basically means it's gonna be a heat based reload system. Its blueprint costs 125 and you'll need remnant polymer, magnesium, lithium and vadium to create this. It has a decent amount of augmentation slots, which is three, a very low weight and an okay clip size for the amount of damage it does with the high accuracy. If you're somebody who likes a pinpoint weapon that does reasonable damage with a decent fire rate, of course, this is a weapon for you, but you have to be someone who is used to that short burst uh, instead of full auto when it comes to assault rifles. I recommend having a play around with this one. It's a cool remnant assault rifle. Once again, we have a Ket assault rifle. Now this is a full automatic firing type and it also fires uh, plasma tracking rounds into your opponent. Now this is really, really cool of course, but there is an, an, a downfall to this. Basically, it has a very low damage, it has a very high fire rate, and it has an okay accuracy. It has a low clip size with a reasonable mid-range weight and some arg argumentation slots. Now, this weapon is obviously something you want to play around with. The fact that it fires plasma tracking rounds is really, really cool. However, it just, in my opinion, isn't a weapon that I would personally use. I don't like the style of weapon. I prefer something more precise and something a little bit more semi-automatic that has has a little bit more control. Now the blueprint cost for this is 125 and the materials to make it are Ket Alloy, Silicon, Fluorite and Vadium. Now if you want to play with this go ahead and try. I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun but for me it's not really the kind of weapon I enjoy using. Now finally guys we are on to the last assault rifle which is a Ket rifle which is a Zalkin. Now with this Zalkin it's a semi-automatic three shot charge. It fires a ballistic type of plasma round and can be fired one to three rounds at a time using a charge system. It is a very cool weapon but it's a very different playstyle compared to all of the other guns we've seen. Now of course you have a lower damage, a higher fire rate and an even higher accuracy with a low amount of argumentations but a very decent weight obviously you can see that on screen and an okay size of clip as well so i think if you're somebody who likes three shot bursts and you also don't mind a charging system and you want a low weight weapon then this is probably the weapon for you to use now these are all of the assault rifles that we currently have knowledge on within the game and i think a lot of them are awesome and a lot of them also cover similar play styles but there's a variation over the course of the 12 that match the play styles of a multitude of different players so i think mass effect have done a good job with these assault rifles i look forward to seeing what else they bring out in the future and for now guys i hope that this video has helped you decide what weapons you want to use based upon the playstyle that you currently have i have some other videos on the channel as well to do with mass effect it'd be cool if you went and checked those out if you don't want to see those then of course you've got plenty more gaming content on the channel as well thank you for watching and listening today thank you and uh, i will look forward to Thank you for listening and watching this video today. My name has been Seven, also known as Martin Wood. Like and comment on all that you love. I'll see you in a future video. Take care of yourselves. Uh, peace.